Last week, I was really struggling from like a mood point of view. I felt so up and down. I was just all over the place. I was overly emotional, overly reactive, and I couldn't really pinpoint why that was. And I've always been one of those people that's very much like all or nothing. And it's great when you're on the all end of the scale because you can just put everything into what you're doing. And I've been able to achieve things in my life in a very condensed space of time because of that. But when you're on the nothing end of the scale, it can be quite debilitating. And getting up and actually achieving anything is, is very, very difficult to do. And that can create a vicious cycle because you feel bad because you haven't achieved what you want to achieve. Uh, so you have another day where you don't achieve very much and then you feel worse again. And that becomes a vicious cycle of I didn't achieve anything, so I feel bad and I can't motivate myself because of that feeling. And therefore I don't achieve again. And I think it's a bit of a mixture of things, right? Uh, being out of routine, you know, probably overindulging from a, from a food perspective and drink perspective over a, over a weekend. Um, you know, there's things going on, nothing super, super serious, but there's things going on that kind of knock you. And it makes it really, really difficult to be creative because I feel like what I'm doing in these videos is attempting to be as open and vulnerable as I possibly can. And that leaves you open to being a bit battered from, a, from an emotional standpoint because you know, you're know you constantly trying to work through these emotions and feelings that you've got and trying to better yourself. But I still managed to get stuff done last week. I still managed to put a vlog out. I still managed to put a podcast out. Uh, I probably just didn't feel like I could present myself from a, a live streaming perspective. And part of the reason is because for me, that is a performance, right? And if I turn up to that with low energy, if I turn up to that feeling, you know, bad, that that's really going to present itself on screen. And I don't want that to be the experience you guys are having when I'm on my live stream. However, I'm doing something this week, both a piece of content and like a personal physical challenge it's probably going to be the hardest thing that I've done ever in my life. It's going to be really tough. I'm not going to talk about what it is specifically now because I'm going to be doing a video on it and hopefully you guys will get to see that and watch that and enjoy it. But it's going to be very, very difficult. And for me, it's going to be a bit of a reset, a bit of a uh, cleanse, a bit of a you know challenge and something for me to focus on that will hopefully put me in a position where uh, I'm ready and raring to go and absolutely filled with energy and uh, produce a, a piece of content that I'm really, really proud of as well as challenging myself physically. So looking forward to sharing that with you guys. Talking of the live streaming element of what I do, the kind of performance element, this is a part I'm really trying to get my head around at the moment because I don't think I'm grateful enough for what it is that I've got. And there's a couple of reasons for that, right? When I first started out, I had a really clear vision for what that was. It was the live performance element of what I did. Uh, I just played the games that I really enjoyed. And if the audience came, they came. And if they didn't, they didn't. But now I've become much more focused on how those live streams are performing, what the numbers are like, how many people are in. And, you know, there are, there are definitely times, and I've got to be honest with you guys, if there's three or four people in there where I'm questioning, look, why am I doing this? What's the point of this? And that's not a place I want to be in, really. That's not a place that I want to be. I want to be grateful for what I got. And, grateful for the performance that I'm getting, whether that's, you know, huge or insignificant. You know, I want to put on a good performance regardless of how many people are there. But that is difficult sometimes. That is difficult, I have to be honest with you guys. And part of the reason that's difficult is, I think, you know, a couple of months back, I thought I'd crack the code. Every live video that I did, you know, if I was doing a video on TikTok announcing I was going live, uh, or if I was doing my live stream, my live stream would have a couple of hundred people in minimum, and my videos announcing that I was going live would have, you know, tens of thousands of views. I thought I'd cracked it. I thought I'd figured out the formula. I thought every single live from then on was going to be like that. And for a couple of weeks it was. And then one day, boom, those numbers disappeared. It just dropped off. I've got no idea why to this day. And to me, that's like knowing you've got a winning lottery ticket, but not sure where you've put it. You know, getting to the point where you're like, yeah, man, I've... I've won the lottery and then you can't find your ticket. That's a really hard thing to get over. I don't know if for some people having a couple of hundred people in your life is not going to be a big thing. 
But for me, that was significant at the time. And that's where I need to get past that and rebuild again because something stopped working, something changed, and that's what I need to figure out. Here's what I know for sure though, right? Whatever's going on outside that live stream, whatever's going on with my content, you know, that's a reflection of me. There's something going on in me that I need to resolve and I need to figure out, right? I need to be the best possible position I can to be able to be as creative as I can. I need to be as healthy as I can. I need to be as energetic as I can. I need to be as, you know, as kind of authentic as I can in order for content to resonate with people and for all for that to work. Like if my content's not getting the views, if my live streams aren't getting the people in there and retained, that is a problem with me, not with them. And here's the thing, right? I know if I wanna be the best creator I can possibly be, the best person I can possibly be, and produce things that are actually impactful, that I need to make sure that I'm in the best possible health physically and mentally that I can be. And I know lots of people are gonna think those two things aren't related. But for me, I know that they are because I know that when I've been the most successful, when I've been the most creative, when I've been the most prolific in terms of any work that I'm doing, it's been when I've been the healthiest uh, physically and mentally that I possibly can be. And I have definitely let those things go. I mean, in the past, uh, when I've suffered with anxiety or when I've suffered with self-doubt, what I've done is I've turned to things that are within my control to try and ease those issues. So I've looked at meditation, I've tried to make sure that what I'm eating is the best possible stuff, what I'm consuming from a content, from a TV, film point of view is the best it can possibly be. Basically making sure that anything that's going into me physically or uh, mentally, I'm such a child, I'm laughing at uh, anything that goes into me sentence. <laughs> Anything that goes into me physically or uh, mentally is like the best quality stuff that it can be. And that I use things like med medita meditation and physical exercise to try and uh, keep into check my anxiety and my self-doubt, which are things that can absolutely run away with you. Uh, so that's what I'm doing, right? There's a couple of things that, like I said, there's a big piece of content that I'm going to be doing that's a huge physical challenge for me. And it's going to be a huge kind of mental challenge for me that I'm, I'm going to be doing over the next week. Um, and hopefully if I'm a bit tetchy, if I'm a bit kind of on edge, uh, if I'm a bit moody, there'll be a reason for that and it will all reveal itself, but I'll try to keep myself in check as much as possible. Um, I definitely need to start meditating again. I definitely need to start consuming great content again. Uh, and I definitely need to, you know, just make sure that I'm in the best possible position I can be to be producing the best possible work that I can do. I view what I do, thank you. I view what I do as art, right? And that may sound a bit wanky and a bit above my station and a bit whatever, right? But I don't care. I am a creative that's trying to produce work that will have an impact on the people who watch it. I want to create a community of people that love to be in the space that I've helped to build, not just because I'm there, but because there's other people there that have the same mindset, that have the same uh, goals, that you know, that just want to be in a room together, right? It just so happens that, that room is on the internet. So that's what I'm going to be doing over the next week. I'm going to be challenging myself physically and mentally to make sure that I am the best possible vessel for any creativity that decides that it wants to pass through me, and hopefully it works because I've. I fucking really want this to work. This is really what I want to be doing. Talking to you, having my camera, filming things, creating things, building things, that's what I want to do. And I am pledging to be the best possible version of myself in order to make sure that the content is the best possible version of itself every single time I post. I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you on the next one.